I have been shot at several times, you know. I have two sets of friends. Although I don't engage in that activity, I try to pull some of my friends still drug dealing out of that life. But they don't know who to trust. And back then, I was worse than them because I, I, I didn't even trust my own mother. So, you know, I understand where they're coming from. Some people would be like, well, you should trust me, but it's hard. Because you got people coming in and out of the communities just to collect information, but not actually trying to help them. Trauma is the greatest challenge we as a community face. What do I mean by trauma? I mean the experience of hunger. That is a form of trauma. I mean the experience of homelessness. This is a form of trauma. I mean the experience of chronic unemployment. This is a form of trauma. Of racism, of displacement. This is a form of trauma. If somebody has the experiences of trauma when they are a child, they're four times as likely to have cancer. They're four times as likely to have diabetes, heart disease. They are more likely to suffer from chronic unemployment, uh, chronic homelessness. They are more likely to suffer from from drug addiction. We know scientifically that there is an absolute correlation between the experience of trauma and adult behaviors. And if we want people to have a healthy, successful lifestyle, we must then begin to address that experience. Currently, we are in the midst of training the first class of Behavioral Health Community Organizers, which is a 15-week training upon which these Behavioral Health Community Organizers will be certified to go out and implement interventions on a block level. When we think of growing up and you can have more of a propensity for depression, anxiety, hopefully there becomes another option besides the violence right. where that person can rest, but not just rest, digest what's going on with them before there's a reaction, right? That's the intervention. You know, basically, manned up a whole lot. Why? I stopped trying to be the man and became a man. So, why? You know, you just gotta make a better way. Cause by me still doing negativity, I'm just adding more heartache and pain onto the next family or an individual watching the news that's tired of it. You know, whenever we're doing these block interventions as people get jobs, we have, to, we have to understand this as a celebration, not just for that person, but for the whole block. And in so doing, create a culture that raises up instead of tearing down.